Hi everybody, in our video today we're going to be talking about estimating quotients. Grab a sheet of paper and a pencil and let's go ahead and get started. In life there's some things that, well, they get along really well together. Think cheese on pizza, peanut butter and jelly, friends even most of the time. And then sometimes there's, well, things that don't get along very well, like two bulls fighting over a piece of pizza, which if you ask me, I would not want to be in the middle of that. In our lesson today, I want you to think about numbers that get along together really well, like fact family numbers. When we estimate quotients, we need to look for numbers that quote unquote get along with each other. In other words, fact family numbers. My first problem today looks like this, 163 divided by five. And a reminder that I want to estimate this quotient. I can't do this division in my head. If you can, you're a rock star. Congratulations. The first thing I'm going to do is I might be tempted to want to round this number to, let's say, 160 divided by 5 because you've been taught to do that a lot of the time. However, stop right there. Put down your pencil. Do not proceed. We're not looking at stuff like that. We're not talking about just simply rounding numbers. What we need to do, and I'm going to scribble this way out so you don't do that, is we need to think about our fact family numbers. I'm just going to underline my 5 over here, and then my first two digits of 163. 16 and 5 do not get along. They're two bulls that are fighting over a piece of pizza. We cannot divide 16 by 5 evenly. We end up with remainders. So we need to think about our fact family numbers and what numbers get along. So if I go through my facts, 5 times 1 is 5, 5 times 2 is 10, 5 times 3 is 15, pretty close to 16, and 5 times 4 is 20. Now I've gone over 16, so I'm going to stop there. Now which of these over here is pretty close to the number 16? Let's see this one right here. So watch what I'm going to do. 16 is going to turn into a 15. And then my 3 up above here, right there, is just going to become a 0. So it's kind of like I rounded the number. But what I've done instead is I have found a number that gets along with the number 5 as far as fact family goes. We know now we can do this in our head. 15 divided by 5 is 3. We figured that up here before. And then we're just going to add our 0. So if we were, to, we were to estimate the quotients with this problem, 163 divided by 5 would be about 30. Here's our next one. 210 divided by 8. Now you might say, now hang on a second here. <laughs> I see what you're trying to do. There's already a zero there. It's rounded, solid, good to go. Let's just divide it and get it over with. But wait a minute. Remember we were talking about numbers that get along. Fact family numbers. We need to think about 8 and our first two digits here. 8 and 21 don't get along. They're those two bulls fighting over that piece of pizza again. We need to ask ourselves our fact family numbers. 8 times 1 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. Pretty close to 21. 8 times 3 is 24. I've gone over 21, so I'm going to stop there. Which of these is pretty close to the number 21? I'd say probably this one right here. So here's what we're going to do. 21 is going to turn into 24. We have our 0 from up above. So we're going to add our 0 there already. If it wasn't in a 0, we would make it into a 0. And then we're going to divide it by 8. We already know how to do this. We can do this in our head now. 24 divided by 8 is 3. We figured that out up here. And then we add our 0. So if we were to divide this, 210 divided by 8, or 210 divided by 8, would be about 30. 